Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Simply Code. In today's session, we'll discuss CSS display and its properties. The display property is a very important aspect of web designing and development. You cannot move further without learning and mastering the CSS display property. So, in this session, we'll walk you through all the properties along with the examples. So, let's begin. To get started, I have a really simple example setup. As you can see, inside my html i have the two paragraph tags and i have a formatting with a background color of cyan color and font size 30 pixels as you can see this looks like something like this on the page the very first property we are going to discuss is the display block property the block display values make an element a block element the block elements start a new line and span the entire width of the viewport by default like how p elements behave there are also line breaks before and after these elements. The default value of the P element is a display block. So here, this looks something like this. What display blocks does is it means that it is going to take the entire width of given to it. This is going to force a new line above and new line below it. So you cannot have something next to here. Now, if we change here this to the next property we are going to discuss is inline. The inline display value turns any element into an inline element. These elements will appear on the same line without breaks. Now, if we change here this to display inline, now all the p tags will behave as an inline element. Now if we go back to our page and refresh, you can see, now this is an inline element. The inline element takes the minimum amount of space possible. As you can see here, the cyan color takes the minimum amount of space to fit all the content inside of this P. So this is what an inline element does. Also, all the inline elements are on the same line. They share the space together because they take the minimum amount of space possible. There are no line breaks in these elements and they try to fit as closely as possible. Now, one of the demerits here is we cannot change the height and width of the inline element. If you change here height to 200 pixels and width to 100 pixels and save, just go back and refresh, you'll see nothing happens. This is because in the inline display property, you cannot change the height and width of the element. The next property we are going to discuss is the inline block value. The inline block value is a hybrid of inline and block element. Elements assigned display inline block appears on the same line with the other inline elements, a characteristic of inline elements. However, inline block elements are also like block elements in that you can change the width and height of the CSS. Now if here we try to change the height and width. of the element, just, just change this to inline block. Now if you go back to the page and refresh, you will see the height and width property works. This is one of the major difference between the inline block and the inline, inline display property. The last name type of display we are going to discuss is the display none and this is a really straightforward display property. You just delete this and change the display to display none. Now if you save the file and go back and refresh, you will see both the element disappears. The display none removes the targeted elements and all its child elements from the page. This causes accompanying elements to behave as if this element does not exist. I hope this session was useful for you. If yes. Do subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. Until then, happy learning and goodbye.